Hi, I'm Asim. Today we are stepping into the practical world of A-B testing specific elements on your landing page. I will cover this topic in multiple episodes as there's so much to share. It took me over a month to compile, research and put this episode together. This is part one of that exploration. Before we jump in, if you're new here or want a refresher on A-B testing fundamentals, I suggest checking out the earlier videos in this series. They provide a solid groundwork for what we are about to tackle. So. If you're ready to get into the specifics and see how small changes can yield big results, you're in the right place. Let's get started. The hero section. Visitors usually spend very little time browsing your landing pages. So it's important to have a strong first impression. And by that, I mean, although your entire website landing page has to offer a great user experience, the first element visitors will look at is the hero section. A hero section typically groups the headline, call to action and imagery in a way that when a visitor lands on the page, the hero section does the heavy lifting. It has to do a couple of things. A, grabbing their attention and B, explain what the page is about. Hero sections encourage visitors to stay on your page and can ultimately impact conversions. Let's break down HubSpot's main landing page. Here in the hero section, we find the main headline and easy to use CRM. And the description or subheading is, who knew that'll be revolutionary? And a graphic and a video call to action button, which says start free or get a demo. Now you can see where I'm heading here. All these elements are great contenders for A-B tests. For example, I can change the CTA button text or change the headline or change the call to action button color to make it stand out. The possibilities are endless. Lead capture forms. Let's talk about the pivotal role of lead capture forms on a lead generation landing page. It's a delicate balance asking too much or too little information that can make or break your campaign. Let's dive into some examples. First up, we have page for Ivory and Ash. Their objective was very simple, get people to sign up for the waitlist. For this campaign, they only capture email addresses. Then there's Union Home Loan. They need to qualify their leads, so their form asks for a lot of information. Now you might wonder, how can I A-B test a form? Well, there are several ways to test out lead generation forms. Method number one is compare forms where you ask for less information. For example, if you have a landing page where you capture name, email, phone number, and some kind of message, try a variation where you don't capture the company details or company information and compare the results. Technically, you can gather a company name from an email's domain address. Method number two, break down the form into multiple steps. If you can't remove any form fields, you can split the form into steps. It's a neat way to gamify your lead generation and improve the overall user experience by asking visitors one question at a time without overwhelming them. Method number three, rethink the positioning of your form. Placing your lead generation form in the hero section might not always be the best bet. According to Michael Agard of Content Verve, you should look at placing your form when it best complements your prospect's decision-making process. And lastly, let's talk about the submit button. It's a key element in a lead generation form. Small changes here can reap some great results. You can test elements like the color of the button, the font size, and the actual copy on the button. I can tell you from experience when we use uh, text like download my free guide, we get more leads. And remember, never use the word submit when naming your call to action button. Well, if you want to test your lead capture forms out of the box, check out legionapp.io. Your landing page content. When the visitors arrive at your page, they're looking for a reason to stay or take action. That's why your content must be clear, persuasive, and engaging. However, when we discuss content, we're not just referring to the written words. It also includes elements like infographics, videos, and previews of your offerings. And guess what? Each of these pieces of your content are a unique opportunity for A-B testing. The amount of text on your landing page can impact your conversion rates, but how can you determine the ideal length? This is where A-B testing comes in, allowing real visitors to help you find the perfect balance. Testing different formats. Content isn't just text. It includes videos, infographics, and even interactive tools. Experiment with different formats to see what your audience prefers. Maybe your users engage more with video explainers than written guides. A-B testing can uncover these preferences. 
Experiment with storytelling. Stories captivate us, they are memorable and engaging. Test incorporating short, relevant stories into your content. A-B tests pages with and without these narratives to see the impact on conversion rates. Finally, call to action button placement. The placement of your CTAs within your content can dramatically affect your user actions. Don't just stick to one at the end. Test placing CTAs at different points in your content to find the most effective spots. Images and videos. Now let's talk about videos. A compelling video can explain complex ideas simply, share stories that resonate, and ultimately convince visitors to act. But the effectiveness of a video can vary widely based on several factors. So here's what you can do. Test video thumbnails. The thumbnail is your first opportunity to get visitors to click play. Test different thumbnails featuring various images, text overlays, or even call to action prompts. Discover what makes your audience hit play. Second, experiment with video placement. Does your video work better on the top of the page or further down? A-B testing its placement can help you determine whether it's the most effective in capturing attention and encouraging action. Vary video length. Length matters. While some messages require longer explanation, others can be captured in seconds. Test short versus longer formats to see what keeps your audience engaged and drives the message home. Images and videos are powerful tools in your landing page arsenal, but their success isn't guaranteed. Through A-B testing, you can scientifically determine what resonates best with your audience, ensuring your visual content isn't just seen, but felt and acted upon. And that wraps up part one of our deep dive into A-B testing key landing page elements. We've covered some ground today, focusing on the hero section, lead capture form, content and videos. Implementing tests on these elements can lead to insightful data, helping you refine your approach and ultimately increase convergence. In the next video, part two of the segment, we will delve into other crucial elements that dramatically influence your landing page's performance. So if you found today's insights valuable, you won't want to miss what's coming up. Make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on the next video. Thank you for joining me today. I'm Asim, and I'm looking forward to continuing this journey with you. Until next time, keep testing, keep learning, and keep optimizing. See you in the next video.